Hi boys and girls. Welcome back to Sunday school virtually. We miss seeing you all um, and I'm so grateful to get this opportunity to still teach you a Bible story. I know Miss Katie and Miss Betsy have already taught you about Joseph and we're going to learn more about Joseph and a crazy situation that happened with Joseph because here I am in jail. This isn't a real jail, of course, but it's a make pretend jail because our story today talks about Joseph. And do you remember when Joseph was doing so well and he was in charge of lots of things and he was given lots of power and he was doing great and God was blessing him and he felt so good about his life. And all of a sudden, one day, something terrible happened to Joseph really terrible. And I bet some really terrible things have happened to you in your life as well. So in our Bible, in the book of Genesis, in chapter 39, we are going to talk about our story today about Joseph. Now, do you guys remember when we used to sing the B-I-B-L-E song at snack time? And do you remember when you used to be able to pick a different animal friend to do yogi get down. Down, get down. Da, da. Speaking of animal friends. <laughs> animal friend. So our animal friend today will be cat. And we could sing the Bible song like a cat. Do you guys remember that? And we would say meow, 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 meow. Do you all remember that? So I want you to think of an animal friend that you would have shared during our snack and song and sign time. And I will try to guess which one you're thinking of. And I will give you some signs. So let me think. Hmm. Let's think. Lorenzo picked a fish sometimes. So let's sign fish. And hmm. Edward would pick shark, so we can sign shark. Sometimes Hazel would pick kitty. And sometimes Zoe would pick a dog. Where you hit your knee and you snap your fingers, dog. And I can't even think what everyone would pick, but you think of one at home. And here's one for frog or for chicken. And the reason why we did that is because we remembered that all of creation will praise the Lord, right? God created animals and nature and everything will cry out in praise to how awesome God is. And all things praise the Lord even when times are really hard. And even when something terrible happened to Joseph, he loved God and he trusted him through it. So let's hear a little more about what exactly happened with Joseph. So when Joseph went to Egypt, he worked for a man named, do you remember? Tell me out loud. Potiphar, right. And all the time Joseph worked in Potiphar's house, God helped him be his very best. Because Joseph was good at every single thing he did, Potiphar put Joseph in charge of everything. Everything except his wife. One day, Potiphar's wife asked Joseph to do something that was really wrong. It was sinful. It was a problem. It went against what God would want Joseph to do, and Joseph knew that. And he said, I won't do it. I'm not going to do it. And Potiphar's wife got very angry with Joseph, so she made up a terrible lie about him. And because of that terrible lie, even though he never actually did it, Joseph had to go to prison. And it was really, really hard for him. He had to go to prison for something he didn't even do wrong. He was innocent. He didn't do it wrong, and he had to go to prison. Awful things happened to Joseph, and it really wasn't fair, right? How do you think Joseph might have felt when he had to go to prison? What do you think? Shout out loud. How do you think he would have felt? Angry? Yeah. Confused? Upset? Oh, lots of things. I would have been very, very angry if that happened to me, right? Well, guess what? That wasn't the end of the story that God had written in Joseph's life. Joseph did go off to jail, but guess what? While he was there, something amazing happened. While he was there, Joseph 
was, became very, very close with the prison guards. They saw that he was responsible. They saw that he was mindful of others. They saw that he was respectful. And they decided to trust Joseph to help run the entire prison because Joseph was the best prisoner they had ever seen. So even in Joseph's really, really terrible situation, God used it to draw Joseph close to his heart and to be a blessing to other people. Joseph and God were together during these hard times. God never left Joseph just because he went through a hard time. This was a hard time for Joseph because he hadn't done anything wrong, but God was with Joseph and God is with us too during all of our hard times. Can you think of some really hard time that you had in your life before? Maybe your parents are arguing a lot, or maybe your mom and dad lost their job, or maybe one of your friends did something that really hurt you. Maybe your brother or sister isn't very kind and is having a hard time showing God's love to you. Maybe your house is having lots of problems that need to get fixed and it's a hard situation. Maybe your grandma or your grandpa is sick or your aunt or your uncle. There are so many different hardships that kids and parents can go through. And sometimes they're really, really difficult. And sometimes we wonder, Lord, where are you? This is a really hard thing. And God says again and again and again, I am with you always. God is always with us, even during hard, hard times. Even when we don't see him working, we know that he is working. We know that he is because he says he is. And we know that he's with us because he tells us he is. God is faithful and God is good and God adores loving on us and on each of you. So when you're having a hard time, I want you to spend some time praying to God and asking him, say, Lord, help me to feel you working in my heart and in my life. Help me to see you and the people around me and in those situations. And God will reveal his faithfulness to you and his goodness and his joy and his peace. He has done it for me so many times in my life and I know that he'll do it for you too. So until we meet again, let's pray from our little jail cell here. Thankfully, I can get out because it's just tape. But let's pray together before we say goodbye. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the life of Joseph. We thank you, God, that you worked in and through him. We thank you, God, that even though times can be very, very difficult for us, God, that you are good and you are faithful and you'll never leave us, Lord. You love us. You forgive us and you're gracious, Lord, with us. We pray that in the hard times of these kiddos, Lord, that they would feel your power and your presence working in their heart and in their life. We thank you, Jesus, for our church and for all that you have given us. Until we can meet again, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, bye guys, I'm praying for you and hope you're having a great start to your school week and goodbye.